this computer. Alrighty, so um, it's going to start with the land acknowledgement. Uh, I'm beaming in from the lower Assiniboia watershed, uh, and that would include uh, Jen and Carrie. Uh, so we're all in the same area. Uh, we're settlers on the Swindle lands of Treaty One territory, uh, the traditional lands of the Anishinaabe, the Inhu, the Cree, the Oji Cree, Daniel and Dakota, and the birthplace of the Métis Nation. Uh, the colonial name for our city is Winnipeg. Um, if anyone else would like to acknowledge their lands, we can make space for that. Myron and Naya here. We are um, guests on the stolen lands of the Muscogee Creek and the Eastern Cherokee peoples. Um, on your modern map, it is just east of Atlanta and Stone Mountain, Georgia, um, in the southeastern part of the US better known for a much longer time as Turtle Island. Yeah, I gotta find a different channel that's got more light. <laughs> Mike, do, you guys you can see I, do you not mind if I acknowledge Michael? Please do. Um, I am Sarah Quint, and I am on the land of the Potawatomi um, in present-day southeast Michigan. Yeah, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. I was just trying to fix the light. Uh, I'm doing Zoom up here uh, where I can watch the football game sort of with one eye, so the light isn't uh, perfect. It's a big championship game here for our city, so... That's my why, why my one eye is over there. Yeah. <laughs> so we will uh, carry, uh, we will keep you updated on the score. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so there okay. are 11 questions in tonight's quiz. There sure are. It's They're a little bit longer than normal. The first 10, you have five minutes to search for the answer. Uh, the correct answer is worth 100 points declining as time passes. The 11th question is the lightning round. You get 30 seconds, so go with your gut, but it's worth 250 points. Bit of a difference maker if, you, if you're behind a little. Exactly, yeah. So if you're, feeling, if you're running behind, don't worry because you can catch up in the lightning round. It's uh, things change uh, there really quick. It's got a couple more things I wanna say before we start here. So the winner today gets the Abernathy sticker that in the screen there. So we're gonna we're gonna ship this sticker to wherever you are. And uh, what, thank goodness we're everyone's from Turtle Island today. <laughs> so we did invite some people from some remote areas. So, uh, but it's yeah, it's, it's gonna work okay. So in the I, I shared my screen there. You can see there's an Abernathy sticker on a water bottle. Um, you don't win the water bottle. You just win the sticker. So someone's gonna walk away with that. And if you would like to help. Uh, Non-trivia trivia, trivia uh, chip in for prizes. Um, that helps us out a lot. I'm just gonna pop a link in the chat and you can um, head over there if you had fun and you wanna chip in for a prize or if you, if you win the sticker and you wanna pay it forward, uh, you can do that there too. We quite often give away books that are on topic, but uh, Abernathy uh, wrote a book which we won't talk about yet because that might be a question, uh, but that's out of print. We, we couldn't find it anywhere. So. Anyway, oh really? But we got a we got a sticker going on. So I'm just going to introduce the Abernathys, our special guest for today. Uh, Myron is uh, one of the Abernathys. Uh, he's in IT support, and uh, Naya is the founder of the Dignity Effect. It's a social emotional educational platform uh, for peace-seeking learners. Uh, she's got a community over there called the uh, Dignity Nation. Is that that? Is that correct? Yeah, Dignity Nation. So you can. Learn all about the mediation. There's good stuff happening there. Uh, if anyone needs help logging in, you're running out of time because we're going to start soon because I'm going to turn it over to Jen and the Abergassies to walk us through the quiz here. Okay, let her rip. <laughs> okay, I will read each question except the lightning round one because there's just no time. 
Everybody's ready to go. Three, two, one, go. How was William Abernathy's, Ralph Abernathy's father, community leadership noteworthy? He was the first African-American to vote in Marengo County. He was the first African-American to serve Marengo County as a juror. He owned a five acre, 500 acre farm in Linden, Alabama or all of the above. Did you get quiet with the music for you? Um, I had to ask uh, Myron, I said, do some of your people have, are some of your people still in Linden, Alabama? Why? Here's what I actually said. I said, are some of our people still in Linden? He said, on my side, I was like, obviously on your side, that's the side we're talking about. <laughs> but yeah, we still, I'm, we don't know if that 500 acre farm is still in its fullness in the family. So I'm talking to me, mom. I don't think it is. Mm -hmm. not, it, not it, doesn't sound, it doesn't sound like it. It isn't. There is still a home that's in the family um, that I'm assuming in the Linden, Alabama area. But I don't, I don't think the 500 acres is still in the family. Why? We're not sure. There, there's a possibility because sometime last year, the year before, no, sometime after my dad passed, mm -hmm. um, Brandon talked to me about how apparently he and I have some land somewhere. You did tell me about that. In Alabama. It may or may not be. It ain't good. 500 acres. Let's have that conversation. Because if it was 500 acres, honey, we'd know about that, okay? Would you, <laughs> would you want to live on set 500 acres? Yeah, in I didn't say anything about living. I would just say that we would know that we had it. So, um, so yes, I'm sure there's a piece of, there's some portion of that that is still yeah. in the family so yeah but at some point it was 500 yeah i don't we don't know if it's still 500 or if the 500 okay. was like broken up between descendants but um but yeah okay sorry i feel like i probably like you got to get one of the answers away. in alabama no that's uh that's not on the quiz because i couldn't find anything about the history of the abernathy farm it's just uh it mentioned that it existed at one point and i went on google and looked for it all I could find is a funeral home in, in the town, but, uh, and the school uh, is around it, a farm. That I couldn't find anything about it. Yeah, there's probably, yeah, I can't imagine that it would still be a farm today. Some feel, of it would. I don't feel so bad now about what I couldn't find. <laughs> <laughs> you know, My, Myron has a, some, a fun tidbit that we'll share at one of the other questions. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah I guess we can save it for. Because there's another question per, per, pertaining to it. Yeah. All the votes are in. We had three correct answers, which was D, all of the above. Everything. I love it. Good job, people. Okay. Nice. Okay. Question two. Hang on a second. Abernathy served in World War II, earning what rank? Major, lieutenant, sergeant, or corporal? So a 500 acre farm is like pretty substantial. Like, um, it was one of the biggest farms in the, in the area. So he was a pretty prominent uh, yeah. person. Yeah. I'm just gonna pop something in the chat here. If I can find the link. Here we go. Yeah, that was Abernathy's, that was Ralph's dad. Uh -huh. yeah. That's what yeah. I mean, a black man to own 500 acres anywhere in the U in the South in probably the 18 or late 1800s, early 1900s is pretty yeah. significant. It's a big deal. I found, I found a lot more about the you know early family history in the um, New World Encyclopedia. Um, so I just put that in the chat too. Oh. There's not not stuff in the quiz there, but there's this is interesting stuff for, for reading afterwards. It's so interesting because we we were looking at the the sticker that you have, um, 
And I looked at it, I said, man, your, your dad and your uncle really do look like him. So the, um, oh, where'd y'all go? Can't see you. Um, so Ralph, help me, I think I get this right. Ralph was, would have been your grandfather's cousin. That sounds about right. Myron. <laughs> okay, y'all. <laughs> So y'all don't think that I'm fronting here. The reason why I'm not able to answer such a question so accurately is because, so my dad, um, okay, Abernathy is on my, on my dad's side of the family. His dad passed when he was in, uh, in high school. So I never met my grandfather on the Abernathy side. So I'm very much more in touch with my dad's mom's side than I am with the dad's side. So Richardson and Cusack on that side of family so pretty much the vast majority of the family reunions I've been to have not been Abernathy family reunions so of course so of course I get asked every time somebody meets uh, me are you related to yeah yeah I, 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 <laughs> I don't get no money from it nothing like that um, <laughs> um and I could walk past one and not and not know it right so, second or third cousin right Right. I actually did find out recently that um, I have a cousin through marriage. Um, so she married into the Abernathy family mm -hmm. who used to be at the church I used to attend that oh. church. Oh, I, I am a former ICOC member in the National Churches of Christ. So it feels weird to say I'm not going to go too far into this because I could spend the whole rest of the time talking about it and I won't. And that's not what we're here for. Yeah, but... <laughs> There was who used to say who would say that their church is a cult. I wouldn't. I have a. I have a hard time saying it, but I. But I don't have a hard time uh, saying I wouldn't argue with somebody if they said that. So, but yeah. So I, I did just find a, a, a accidentally found a family member a in that in that group. So mm -hmm. I'm in. A, I'm in an ex. I'm in a group on Facebook that's for people who have been out of that environment. So. Okay, we have all, all the answers in. Everyone guessed correctly or answered correctly, sorry. Uh, it was C, Sergeant. Ooh, nice job. Show us the standings, Jen. Who's winning? Sarah Quint, come through, Sarah Quint. Okay, I'm gonna. I gotta put you on blast now because you just put yourself out there. Sarah Quint is. I mean, Sarah Quint's basically family. We're just trying to figure out exactly where we're family because, but we know we are. So yep, that's um, why I'm here tonight. I'm trying to. She's <laughs> she here hanging out. That's my sister. So uh, yeah, she's coming through on top. <laughs> okay. Well, are you in? Hmm. Are you logged in, Lyle? I, I didn't. I didn't see you on the. No, I thought we weren't supposed to log in. No, um, not Lyle. Uh, not mm -hmm. Naya. Uh, Lyle. Oh, sorry. But, yeah, no problem. Zoom audio. You know, one syllable name with a Y somewhere in there. No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Question three. When did Ralph begin his activism? In the mid fifties, with his Montgomery bus boycott involvement. As a sophomore at Alabama State, he led a hunger strike raising the quality of campus food. In high school with his work to overturn Jeremiah Reeves death penalty sentence, or while he was at Alabama State where he organized a voting registration drive. You were on uh, mute there, Lyle. Did you need help getting logged into Crowdfire? I, I don't see you on the, I, I saw you answering, but. I don't think it's working right but I... oh okay so you're learning but you're not going to win a sticker <laughs> you might be well, answering my, first. I, I answer but it doesn't go through but it yeah. does so. yeah that, that that's frustrating i'm sorry it's oh, a wow. inter, and you're back it's today and now you're thing. getting shafted <laughs> apparently my answers are working they're working <laughs> okay they're wrong but they're working <laughs> <laughs> I also want to say hi to Lynette, who's probably doing bedtime while she's hanging out with us, right? I think it's about that time. 
So high limit. Over. I figured out my video problem. I just need to pause the TV when it's sort of bright. And now, <laughs> yeah, no problem, Sarah. Seven more questions. So if you have enough points to win, with only three questions here, I will I will find you and deliver the sticker. <laughs> no need to pop your address in the chat just in case. I will I will find you. <laughs> no, but I don't think uh, I don't think that'll happen because lots of points for the lightning round. Like 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 Jen said, if you're uh, feeling you're a little behind in the quiz or a lot a long ways behind. It's not a big deal. You can catch up at the end. All the answers are on the Wikipedia page. You know, that link is in the chat. You don't have to scroll up a little bit to get there. That's where we're at. Okay, we have all the votes in. We have two correct answers. Um, B was correct and D was correct. And we have two votes for B. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, D was not in the Wikipedia. That was in that other uh, other link that's uh, uh, has a little bit more background. So that, mm -hmm. that was interesting stuff. So I put that in there and so, uh, because there, there was two things he did. It was actually the same, in the same year in school. He did, he kind of did both at the same time, so. You know, and that's what got recorded. I'm sure he might have been causing good trouble at home when he was like a four-year-old or something. That might not, might not have got documented, you know. Let her rip, Jen. We're ready for Q4. Okay. All right, Sarah. Coming, coming Thinking in. Back. Okay, question four. What did he do following graduation from Alabama State with high honors? He stayed with Alabama State serving as men's dean. He became the senior pastor of the largest black church in Montgomery First Baptist. He met Juanita Odessa Jones, married and started a family, or he did all of these things after graduation, A first, then B, then C. I think about stuff I did after graduation, it wasn't none of that. <laughs> This might actually be a good segue for it. You can if you want to. Myron has a piece of, of intel he would like to share. 
<laughs> the crowd. So I tried to find this again, um, just to give you guys a link or something, but I couldn't find it. But in eighth grade, I did a report on, um, on Ralph, Ooh. found out a bit of uh, juicy information. So he actually was supposed to have a date with uh, Coretta Scott and she stood him up. And I'll give y'all a guess who she stood him up for. One guess. You one guess. <laughs> but yes, the two of them are, are married now. So uh, stood him up for Martin. That's what I was gonna say. Oh. So I don't remember nothing else from that report. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> Just the famous date that never was. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah. It should be like a, it should be like a um, Marvel What If episode. What if oh he, what if yeah. she went out with Mar with Ralph instead? Yeah, the alternate universe. Yeah. Yes. Or it could end up being one of those things where it's it was supposed to happen anyway. So it could have been that maybe she went out on the date and then never had another one with him again and still went with Martin. No. Yes. It could be. Now, my question, question does anyone remember Claudette Coven from uh, maybe up to three months ago? What was that? Oh, um, three months ago, we did a quiz on Claudette Coven and uh, that person who was mm -hmm. uh, up on death penalty charges was mentioned in that quiz. So that was one of the wrong answers from the previous question. Does anyone remember that uh, Claudette Coven? Maybe? I remember. Andrew Carey? I don't think you were there yeah. a while. Uh, Are you want to say anything? Yeah, the question about something about what I said. <laughs> what did you do right after you graduated from college? <laughs> Got a um, job? Yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. I, that's the job that you always sees me about, um, being born in the wrong generation. Because you stayed in it for like 10 years. Yeah. Like nobody does that anymore. Nobody apparently. does that. <laughs> so, yeah. And, oh, tell them, tell them what you, you started doing your moonlighting during, after college, during my, college. My moonlighting. Your moonlighting side hustle. Oh no! I did. I started doing that before I graduated um, college. Well, tell them now. The people want to know what's your moonlighting side hustle. So, meaning you haven't told them before? No, I haven't. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. I'm surprised she hasn't. No. Nope. Oh, I've tried. These 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 are not all inverse people. I've told inverse uh, people. Okay. Yeah. Got gotcha. you. Yeah. Not this one. <laughs> oh yes, my side hustle slash um, hobby slash addiction is uh, salsa dancing. I've been. Ooh. I've been it since 2002, uh, wow. teaching it since 2007. So yeah, um, I, mean, I was I was teaching, but, te but teaching it like in my campus ministry, so I wasn't actually getting money. So yeah. I was doing that before I graduated college. But you but, graduated and got a job. And then you started doing things like performances and going to congresses and traveling and yeah, dancing and yeah. stuff like that i don't know if that's a little it's like well ralph i don't know i don't know if that connects you to ralph or not i don't know if ralph was a dancer i don't, I don't know you know oh. um, i might need to find a one <laughs> ask me my name yes yeah okay we have all the answers in we have four correct answers mm. it was d you did all of those things Nice. So that answer, that, that question didn't help anybody catch up then, huh? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Question five might. Hmm. In which campaign did Ralph Abernathy rise to national prominence along with Martin Luther King Jr.? With the Montgomery bus boycott? With the voter registration drives? 
with the Freedom Rides campaign or with the fair housing movement? Nice. I wonder how many, how many people actually get spending. I'm spending them. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just, it's up to them back to not. <laughs> It's also calm enough to not be like, hey, this is Yes. It was one of uh, it, it, it was chill hop and not lo-fi. And someone in the comments said, yeah, I'm not getting any studying done. This, this. <laughs> Do you have all the answers, Jen, or we're still thinking? Waiting for two. Waiting for two. Okay. We're not going to. Yeah, we're here. Waiting to, for one. Oh, waiting for one. Okay. Like I said, everyone gets all the time they need to look it up and learn. We're not here to, to rush. That's, uh, you guys can play Trivial Pursuit if that's what you wanted to do. That's not what we're doing here. We're here to learn. So, And if you answer correct right now, you get 62 points or 61 points. See, it counts down pretty slow. So it's not, uh, not a pan. Not, no, no, no need to, reason to panic it. Mm. Ooh. So after college, I went right straight to work because I was kind of working at the same time anyway. I didn't, uh, I didn't even start going to college till I was out of high school for 10 years. I wanted to go have some I didn't time. go to college. Was, yeah. <laughs> Okay, all the votes are in. You have mm -hmm. three correct votes. Yay. Good the job. Correct people. answer was A with the Montgomery bus boycott. I'm glad that they were able to get past whatever misunderstanding with Coretta and still get things done. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Sarah is. Okay, walking. question six. Yep. Yeah. After the Montgomery bus boycott, the Southern Christian Leadership Conference was formed to coordinate nonviolent direct action as a method of ending segregation. What was Abernathy's position? Oops, president, vice president, financial secretary, treasurer, or secretary? Hmm. So, Jen, when you were saying you had the same picture signed, yes, I got I got another one signed. I got the one with his shirt off, but I, I gave that one to my mom for nice. Christmas. Nice <laughs> blue and gold, gold frame as well, you know, for for their face. So. No, you gotta. Yeah, you gotta I don't even have my frame. <laughs> yeah, Strebler was released by the uh, Cardinals, right? Cardinals and he didn't come and play. He he could have came to Winnipeg and just played one game and won another great cup and come to another victory party. I don't know. Absolutely. Have to make sure. Oh, and before we leave, everybody has to thank Uncle Lyle for uh, BC's kicker. <laughs> uh... So it looks like the Bombers are winning by field goals here. Okay, all the votes are in. We have three correct answers. 
The correct answer was C. He was the financial secretary treasurer. Wow. Good job, people. Everyone's getting everything right. I, I love to see this. <laughs> Sarah dominating. Dominating. <laughs> I love okay, question. But I really love Sarah. <laughs> Oh, no, no, no favoritism in this at all, huh? No, I love uh, it. I love everybody with the love of the Lord. Um. <laughs> okay, question seven. What happened at Abernathy's church when Martin Luther King spoke in support of the Freedom Riders who'd beaten who'd been beaten down in Montgomery the day before? More than fifteen hundred people came to the event. A mob of white segregationists laid siege to the church. The marshals who were there to protect the event were overwhelmed and the National Guard came to restore order or all of the above. That's, not, that's serious. Hmm? That's, that's serious. Mm -hmm. I had a question about the last question, maybe the Abernathy's or maybe someone else, anyone, if anyone can answer. Um, even though Abernathy was Secretary Je Treasurer, I kind of left with the impression that everybody was doing kind of everything as far as what needed to be done and then um who was on what position of the board that's kind of what they did when they were back at the office but most of the work was out of the office you know and everybody was doing doing everything but that's just my gut is that is that ring true with anyone yeah i don't think i i'm sure there were positions held because you know, there has to be some sort of like order and who you go to. But I also know there are lots and lots and lots of names of people who are heavily involved that you don't hear unless you do yeah. more digging. And I'm sure even though Ralph was the financial secretary treasurer, there was support people and there were people helping him. And, you know, so there's, I think there's, there's a, there's a real thing to be said about like, who were the names and the faces that were kind of like the ones on the ticket per se versus who's, whose hands are doing the work. And it was, it was a lot, it was a lot of people um, involved doing the work names that you might not have to dig very far to find additional names. But, um, you know, I think about Bayard Ruskin, who is a huge, um, huge, huge uh, name and a uh, person involved in the civil rights movement, um, but because of it, because he was uh, part of the queer community, mm -hmm. they did mm -hmm. not let him be up front, but he was extremely involved. And so that's just one. And the women that were involved again. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I think it's probably closer to what you're thinking, Michael. Um, and this is an assumption. I have, I don't have a paper I've written to prove this, but just knowing some of the stories, um, there, everybody was, the question was, what do you need me to do? And then it got done, right? So, and I think in, a, in my experience, when there's something really pressing to do, or even, it doesn't even have to be something like, a, you know, a um, civil rights issue. It could be something's going on it's a family reunion what yeah, you need me to do yeah. we all it people just come in what did, what do you need what do you need me to bring and sometimes on accident you know auntie mary ends up being the person over the food not because she asked to be but that's just kind of what happened yeah. so they need like, a name in the spot <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah and they just needed one person to tell people what to do and it happened to be auntie yeah. mary with the food so yeah um yeah Yeah. Cup of weekend. Yeah. Oh, uh, yes, much, much of the rings here. Mm -hmm. Still waiting for one vote. Less than a minute.
Ten seconds. There we go. Four correct answers. Correct answer was D, all of the above. Question eight. Abernathy and King became close friends when they were new pastors. During the civil rights movement, they journeyed together, often sharing the same hotel rooms. How many times were they jailed together? 16, 17, 18, or 19 times. Either way, that's a lot. That's a lot. <laughs> a real good friend. Yeah. I don't know if I'd want to be jailed with you. I don't want to be jailed, period. Six, 16 I, times. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> I don't want to be jailed, period. I mean, yeah. I love you, but I don't, I don't want to sit in a jail cell with you. My dad always told me, like, don't know. Don't go to jail. Like, call me, let you know you you're okay, but I come to get you. <laughs> and lo and behold, never been there. So oh, pray the word. I'm just imagining being jailed with Barb. Like uh, I would just kind of add to the stress, I think. Yeah. Yeah. How much bail money is that? Like, even at minimum at minimum, like say if it's 16, right? How how much bail money is that? A lot. And you and they would have to pay bail for him and King and whoever else was in there. Yeah. Right. So and who to, paid it? I think Ooh. they raised the funds, right? I think that was part of part of the structure was the training to do the the work and what do you do when you go to jail? And then we also need to raise money so we can get people out of jail because we're gonna end up in jail. You have to wonder. Well, yeah, it was probably it was probably a calculated risk yeah. from the beginning. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. You have to wonder if they ever started upping the bail because of who they were. I'm, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, nobody was Probably. being fair. Nobody was like, well, let's be nice. Like, that's not. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, y'all out here trying to get rights? Okay, yeah, no, your, your bail is getting, you're going up. <laughs> For sure. Also, Abernathy and King, why does that sound like a... a like a law firm. Oh my gosh. This, this, that just kind of rolls off like that. <laughs> Sounds like a clothing line to me. <laughs> yeah, that, 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 that could work too. It, it depends if you use the ampersand or something else that, you know, if it's a law firm or a clothing line. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> exactly. That, the plus sign is the clothing line. The ampersand is yes. the law firm. The, the, the new yeah, line. Okay, all the votes are in and everyone guessed correctly. It is 17 times. Seventeen times. No, it's seventeen times too many. Look at this. Absolutely. Gary. <laughs> Gary's climbing up, up there. By two. Yeah, your girl is out front. Sarah, better watch your six. Carrie's right behind you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Question nine. Uh, oops, sorry. After MLK's assassination, who took over as SCLC president? Was it Charles Kenzie Steele, Ralph Abernathy, CTJ Jameson, or DIM Augustine? I thought C was his first initial. <laughs> and then I saw DIM at the end, and no, that's not. Oh my God, you're right. Okay, well, whatever. Oh, it was, fine. it was fine, Jen. You said C, TJ Jemison. Jemison. Yeah. You'll never know if I meant to pause in between. Yeah. Oh, the game is tied. Oh, it's tied? What's the score, Jen? 10 10. 10 10. Okay. Oh, man. This must be y'all are watching, watching the foot. Is it is football? Yeah. Watching football, doing trivia. I'm not watching football. I have to focus. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I don't usually watch football, so it's pretty normal for me. <laughs> I pause the we game haven't because watched... it's, uh, it's flickering. I, I, I waited till there's a nice bright spot, and I pause. So. 
because the video was bad. On we haven't watched all season, but it's the final, right? It's the yeah. Grey Cup. So. Yeah. I'll watch it later. I'm usually only in it for the halftime show anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. So you're more more Jets fan, Jim? Mm, that's waning a little bit too. Just yeah. hasn't been since the pandemic hit. It just yeah. doesn't hit the same. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, I'm not as um, mm. avid, rabid, avid. Yeah, that's that's almost the right word. Yeah. Fanatical. Oh, no. we have like all the votes are in. Oh, Everyone oh. got the correct answer. It was yay. B. Ralph Abernathy. Yes. SCLC Prez. This is interesting to me because when at some point he was the financial secretary. So at mm-hmm. this point, was he then the vice president? Had his position changed? Or were they just like, we have a vice president, but Ralph, you should be president? I'm curious. We need to know how much time passed between the time he was financial secretary, treasurer, yeah. and this. Yes. Yes, for sure. That's the kind of thing you can go and look up after the clip. Exactly. <laughs> uh, yeah, 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 I think there's a task get somewhere in there. I think it was the latter. I think it said, yep, okay. Ralph, is, uh, the, Ralph is Perez now. I wasn't intending that to be a, a nerdy joke, but that was my way you of saying it. You used that, so. the phrase time skip. This is not in normal conversation. You only <laughs> use that if you're referencing like a Marvel movie. <laughs> Again, we're in an alternate universe. Clearly. There we go. Clearly. Okay, question 10 is the last question before the lightning round. Here we go. Abernathy was involved in a number of things after his time with the SCLC. In what year did he address the UN on world peace? 69, 70, 71, or 72? Did we just yell at you this time? I think so. Our mm-hmm. kids make us equally tired at the same time. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Bees like that. Or the one that's in their pink bag. Actually, I don't know if that's in the pink bag. That's probably the same. We're probably talking the same one. Okay. Yeah, there was so much interesting stuff in uh, Wikipedia. I had trouble narrowing it down to 10 questions. I didn't want to keep you all here for two hours, but uh, we could have gone on and on and on. There's some stuff about NASA too that we didn't get into and uh, wounded me. You said Ralph did some stuff with NASA? Yep. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, he's uh, doing some uh, Whitey on the Moon stuff. <laughs> ah, I think, I feel like King, King made some comments about that as well. Um, you know, we can go to the moon, but we can't feed the kids in the mm, yeah yeah in the black neighborhoods they can't get lunch or you know things like that mm-hmm. so. he's not wrong no, he, no. Ralph said, uh, he said you know sending people to the moon is easy that's child play compared to solving the problems that i'm talking about uh, mm-hmm. so. yeah everybody got the correct answer it's 1971 71. nice job everybody okay so uh we should show the score so everyone knows what's at stake so the lightning round you get like mm-hmm. way more points but no time at all if you waited for jen to ask the question before you'd answered you lost okay you gotta you gotta answer quick i'm not I, i'm i'll read the question but i'm not going to read the answers but yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh but there's it's oh it's close yeah lynette okay. you can carry I think Rose can pull ahead. I think there's 500 points for the lightning round. So <laughs> it's anyone's game. Yeah, anyone's game. <laughs> oh. 
why was his autobiography and the and the walls came tumbling down controversial? A was it the score? What's the score in the bomber game? B end of the year he revealed King's infidelity. C hey this was fun let's do it again. Or D when are the windups playing next? That's a local Winnipeg down for you, uh, Americans. <laughs> Michael, I see what you did here with these answers. Uh, lightning round. You made it uh, made it a little obvious. But... <laughs> and everyone has answered. Everyone answered correctly. But who answered quickest? <laughs> uh, Quint's face palming. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Dominated the entire game. Quint, wow. I really Carrie's coming after you and Lynette. Gosh. Carrie and Lynette are coming for you, sis. I'm just saying. Wow. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> next time, next game it on. Alrighty. So there's a sticker coming your way. <laughs> we can get our we can exchange details later. Because I got your phone number. So that's not that's a problem. Sweet sticker. <laughs> I'm, uh... Oh, Carrie and Lynette were worthy opponents for sure. Well, congrats, guys. This is fun. I appreciated learning all of the things, too. We learned as well. For our socials. <laughs> mm. Well, thanks for coming out, Rose. I'm, how did you find us? I, I'm glad you're here because you're new. This is great. No, Rose has been here before. Oh, she has? Oh, I'm sorry. I got to keep up. I got to keep up with our people. I'm... Got to be more on top of that. Sorry, Rose. That's okay. I, yeah. I'm Shelly's aunt. Right. Yes. Yes, you are. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so cool. I'm and this is there. history I remember. Uh, oh. oh, wow. Night, yeah. Quint. This is history I didn't learn. Night, Quint. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they didn't teach us this in, in high school or junior high, unfortunately. Oh yeah, this is no. nothing we would have uh -uh. learned. Yeah. Oh really? Oh, mm -mm. No. Not even in the south. I no. mean, a little bit. Like oh. you heard names, but most of the information you would have yeah. to go look for yourself. Yeah. I mean, now because yeah. of the internet, it's easier. Oh. But I, when the internet came out, I was in middle school when it like it was yeah. invented and made public. Yeah. <laughs> so. Most of, like most of my um, schooling was offline, and so people are just teachers are going off of books, the yeah. textbooks they have, and if they've done any of their own little bit of research. And I didn't have a lot of black teachers, and so um, there weren't, and there weren't many white teachers invested in like let's really dig into this, you know. Yeah. Um, and so a lot of this is you either hear it from your family members, because there's a lot of people, I think, in the Black community who do know more information about it, yeah. because they, like, my mom was born in the 50s, so she did, she lived through it, she saw some of this stuff coming up on TV, um, and so you hear from it, you hear about it from them, um, or you grow up and you get curious and you do your own research, but nobody was, you're not taking a course learning the real deal about what was going on in school not yeah not for us i barely got some of that when i was in um when i was in new york i attended a private school up there yeah. um it i don't know if it was all black by default or if it was all black on purpose but that's, that's what it was and certain things i learned there that i never heard about before i never heard about again until after like mm -hmm. I didn't know that Columbus didn't really discover America until I went there and never heard about it again until I went to an HBCU at Fort a and University. Mm -hmm. So it was just like, had I not been in New York for those two years, would I, have would I still have the same, or would I've gotten that point of view late as far as, you know, Columbus, <sighs> the Black National Anthem, lift every voice and sing. Like that mm -hmm. was drilled into our heads in, at that school, but didn't hear before. Didn't Y'all didn't sing that at church? Not until like, like, probably not until like high school or something. Okay. I don't think it was ever called the Black National Anthem. It was just, but you, but everybody knew the song. Yeah. Church. Yeah. yeah. That's where, that's where I, that's where I learned it. And I didn't, 
I, either I didn't hear it or I heard it very sparingly in between then and in college. Yeah. So it was, and so basically all of the going deeper into all the stuff that you only hear about at during Black History Month. Yeah. I got that all the time during those two years. Yeah. So it really does depend on where you, you know, where you went. Mm-hmm. That's really interesting. I, I assume because you're in Atlanta, this would be like uh, in your high school history. One would think. Yeah. One, public one public school think. is still oh, Georgia. Yeah. Yeah. It's the state of Georgia yeah. public school. Okay. <laughs> so uh, maybe the city of Atlanta, because neither of us grew up in the city of Atlanta. Oh, okay. Um, we're in surrounding areas. Um, but the state of Georgia uh, is n- no. Mm-mm. So. Jen's puppy. Oh, cute. Yeah. It's the first time we saw Jen's puppy on Zoom. (laughs) Jen, you know, I'm just like fixated right now, right? I'm just like. (gasps) She's been, she's been paying attention. I told her, let's learn together, and we did. (laughs) You know what I just realized, Jen? What's that? All of our special guests are. From like Atlanta area, we've had Bud and oh yeah, and Myron and Maya, and that's all. <laughs> <laughs> we source exclusively from Georgia. <laughs> yeah. This guy named Bud, who's uh, used to follow the uh, what was the Jets called before? Anyway, <laughs> oh, I forgot the name. Thrashers, yeah, the Atlanta Thrashers. Uh, we're oh, we're big hockey really people cool. up here in Canada. So when uh, we when we got your team up here, like he started following us on Twitter and phoning our radio station long distance and talking to us all. <laughs> and, uh, and he's a he's a sports all writer. All that thought of. And uh, so uh, we had him on to talk about uh, Hank Aaron, and then he, when he passed away, you know, yeah, it's just a natural fit. It was... Yeah, he, Myron ran away to get something. Yeah, he said, "Hold that thought." <laughs> so... It's seventeen ten Hamilton. It's probably his thrashers jersey. I hope so. <laughs> Something. He's, Something. he's a sports guy and he's oh, okay. committed to Atlanta sports. And so he knows a lot of the history. Oh, and right. This team used to be here and then this happened to blah, blah, blah. So I'm sure he has something <laughs> to share with you. I'm like, I don't know. I don't really care. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. You know. We'll see you soon. I was in Atlanta the night Trump got elected. And uh, I brought my Winnipeg Jets jersey down there. I felt bad about wearing it there because uh, you kind of stole your hockey. <laughs> team. There we go. I love the flat Thrasher jersey. Yeah. Nice. That, that is sweet. Never watched a full game, like that but one. I figured, hey, let me represent for the for the state. So I yeah. see Atlanta. He's like, uh, Atlanta sports, let's do it. I'm here for oh, it. Oh, hold that up again. I, we've got to prove. Uh, yeah, I, I got to screen grab that. <laughs> that is so cool. There we go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> sweet yeah so bud was uh yeah he followed the team uh all the way to all the way back to winnipeg he kept promising to come on come visit but uh, we never did get him here but we will glad you got to talk to him that's good well, hey guys for having us thank you thanks guys. thank you for being here no yeah it was a good time and we hope michael you know we know you'll tell us in the um in the community chat how the how the game turns out tonight you'll let all of us know right i will let us all know yeah <laughs> that was one of the questions in the lightning round what, what was the score in the bottom of it yes <laughs> it's right. not good you know oh it's not good it's not looking good but you'll be okay we'll be okay have a chance all right all right, y'all have a great right, night. Thank you so you much for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Good night, guys. Good, Good night. night. Bye.